I guess I'll start at the beginning of where I started on this whole thing. I worked in an auto factory shooting screws in cars. Married, had kids, I was young, 20s, early 20s. One of the things I remembered is when I was in school, one of the teachers said that if you want to succeed in a business or something, you have to have complete product knowledge. I met an instrument maker one day, and uh, I'd been playing guitar and thought I was going to be a, another Gordon Lightfoot, and apparently that wasn't going to happen. I got some tools and some wood and started building instruments. First one I built from a kit, and after that I did all my own work. Within five instruments, this little thing that I found and obsessed over and found proved to be true. And I was getting this superior sound. It was superior playability. It played like an electric guitar. Beautiful, perfectly balanced tone, perfect intonation, just, just unbelievable. And I knew that classical guitars, this was in the early 80s, that classical guitar, I could, if I made a good classical guitar, that I might be able to get away from the auto factory. And, and do this full time because people would pay an individual builder to buy to build them an instrument if it was good enough. to the International Guitar Competitions in Toronto. It took me till this last year to get the instruments you played together to fully put that idea together. So this is 40 years of trying to understand sound and getting complete product knowledge. occurred to me, I, I met um, Alvin Fry um, probably about a year ago, I would, I would guess. Um, he came to a concert of ours uh, with Virginia Luque uh, and wanted to present a guitar to her, an eight-string classical guitar. is a opportunity for us as St. Louis Classical Guitar to do something very creative and artistic and present something that um, is a little bit envelope pushing. We as an arts organization have a responsibility to kind of show the state of the art, you know, and kind of show that um, things progress still. Even with uh, the realm of classical guitar, the art form can progress and sometimes that means instruments are built differently to accommodate that progress. So, um, I contacted my friend and colleague, Dan Rubright. pitched him this idea of, hey, would you like to write something for, for these unique instruments that, that Al built? And so this project was born to where, um, you know, we're commissioning a piece or multiple pieces uh, that Dan is going to compose and arrange for these instruments and we're going to present to the public. From our perspective, it's just a very cool new way to present the state of the art uh, of classical guitar.